Hey YouTube, there is something you should know about the Goal Zero Yeti 1000 and 1400 lithium power stations before you buy either one of them. Prior to buying it, I had a Goal Zero Yeti 1250 and 120 watt solar panel, which on a bright sunny day would give me about 80 watts of solar input into the Yeti 1250. Okay, we have an off and on kind of cloudy sunny day. The most I've seen this get up to, there it is, 82 watts, 88 watts. When I got the 1000, I plugged the exact same solar panel into it, and I was only seeing 39 watts of input on a bright sunny day. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So I went out and I cleaned the solar panel because I thought maybe it's dirty, and it didn't help at all. So I called Goal Zero to find out what was wrong. So they told me that the Goal Zero Yeti 1250 came with an MPPT controller and that's why the Yeti 1250 works so well. And this 1000 does not come with the MPPT controller and then I have to buy an MPPT controller for $100 and it's out of stock everywhere so you cannot actually buy one. So in addition to the $1199.95 that you have to pay to buy the 1000, you also have to spend another $100 to buy the MPPT controller in order to get decent charging. And another thing is, when I plug the 1000 into a wall outlet, I only get about 60 watts of charging, which is pretty pathetic because a 60 watt light bulb, that's nothing. Why does this charge so slowly? Anyway, the whole point of this video is, if you buy a Goal Zero Yeti 1000 and intend to charge it by solar, you're going to need to buy an MPPT controller. Otherwise, you're going to get pathetic charging performance from your solar panels. By the way, on the Yeti 1000 lithium and 1400 lithium, neither one comes with the MPPT controller. The Yeti 3000 comes with the MPPT controller, and in my opinion, all three should come with the MPPT controller. Thanks for watching.